Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to the MGM Grand Hotel, where their slogan is, Where the Hell Am I? <laughs> For some reason, you cannot find your way around anywhere in this place, even if you follow the sign. I was a guy, you try following the sign, and you're walking, and the next thing you know, you're like, where the hell? <laughs> Even when you check in, like, here's your room key, here's a canteen, here's some trail mix, good luck. <laughs> here's my impression of somebody trying to get around here. Get the hell out of my way, you stupid <laughs> son of a... I can't find my... Oh, now, now where am I? I can't find any... I'm kind of mad at this place. Anyway. I love the MGM, but I've, I've been losing to Blackjack. Oh, my God, it's been so brutal. It's like I showed up, the pit boss held me down, the dealer runs up his pants. Take it! <laughs> Can I get a free sandwich? <laughs> Can you count my room, please? I found a way to get him back, though. Here's how you get him back if you lose here, uh, which you probably will, because it's a casino. <laughs> it's a big, huge place. Now, I'm going to fix these guys this week. Everybody come. So here's how you get him back. This is what I did. Uh, right up in my room right now, the hot water is running. <laughs> That's right. Tub sinks everything. I've been smoking in a non-smoking room. <laughs> right in the curtains. I pulled myself right in the pillow. <laughs> I just got to quit gambling, you know, it's just crazy. You just lose money all the time. I can't even win Keno. Well, you know, nobody can. But Keno seems like such an easy game. You think, yeah, I'll play Keno. Yeah, that's got to be easy. And then you lose your ass. If you never saw Keno before, anybody home doesn't know what Keno is, I'll explain Keno. If you want to explain Keno to your friends, that's what I do. I have my friends give me 20 bucks. Then I look at it and I go, oh, you were so close. <laughs> You just had a couple more numbers, man. <laughs> oh, they're right next to the one that you picked. Oh, well, you should try it again. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just like, you know, it's crazy. I got uh, LASIK surgery, in case anybody knows. I don't need glasses anymore. Everything about getting LASIK surgery? It's really fun. Here, if you like this, ching, ching, you like that? If you like that, you'll love LASIK surgery. Yeah, they pin your eyes back with a clamp, then they put a little disc to hold your eyeball in place, and the <laughs> then the laser comes in. You know, it's pretty. It's only for four minutes. It scares the shit out of you for four minutes. <laughs> but then, you know, uh, and I can see very clearly. I'm really happy. The only drawbacks are is the two things I didn't think about. Number one, I forgot I had this whole career of me based on based on me wearing these uh, glasses. <laughs> so I really screwed myself there. <laughs> and the number two problem I, I didn't think of was now I can see myself naked in the shower. <laughs> I was the first morning, I'm, hmm, 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 holy cow. I didn't know I had these on my butt. <laughs> All of a sudden, my butt's a teenager. <clears throat> yeah, I did it because, you know, it's like, it's for, like, vanity. You know, I thought I'd look better without them. And, you know, now I've got to lose weight, too, because, you know, I've got a girlfriend. I've got to keep up. It's, uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you think I don't, but you should see me naked in the shower. <laughs> you see yourself naked in the shower once, man, you're hitting in the gym, I'm telling you. I can't stand it. I joined the Warner Brothers gym to lose weight, and the, you know, the, they give you a, a trainer, you know, if you're a celebrity at the Warner Brothers gym. Uh, and the guy told me, he says, you ever hear this at the gym? He said, you have to learn to listen to your body. <laughs> like, listen to my body? How do you think I got like this in the first place? <laughs> All my body wants to do is eat and sleep. Hey, get me a pizza. All right, Mr. Body. A six pack and a porno. Sure thing, Mr. Body. You got it. You know, they say that, you know, exercise and, uh, is the key, you know, to a longer, healthier life. So, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> nice knowing you all. Yeah, it's like my body is a temple in an Arab neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm having a good time. Having a girlfriend is fun, you know, I've got to say, even though I feel fat. Uh, but the other thing, you have to avoid arguments with, about everything. You know, that's the key. You just can't bring up certain subjects. 
Like, you, you really can't, because it's, she, they're just, anybody who's out here is married? You guys married? Married? Dating? I can always tell the married couples, you know, not so much in the front, because the light's down in the front, but, you know, <laughs> usually when you're in a place like this, like, married couples are sitting, they get the little space, and dating couples are right next to each other. They got their arms around each other. Can't wait to get you home, baby. 85 bucks I paid for these tickets. What do you think? <laughs> married couples. Okay, you sit there, and I'll sit here. There, now we're out. You happy? <laughs> I could be gambling right now, but no. Yeah. So I was at a party. I heard this really stupid argument during the election. Did you ever hear this about women? Some woman started an argument with me. It was a political argument, which is stupid. She said, uh, you know, if women ran the world, there'd be no war. You ever hear that? That's a bunch of crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure no one would start a fight for no reason if women ran the world. <laughs> like, uh, hi, this is England. How come I'm being invaded? Oh, I think you know why. <laughs> I saw you looking at France. 